It started one day at Vito's Pizzeria. Ah, a note from Signore Arbucle. Please make five pizzas and charge them to my account. Very well, my little pussigato. Vito will make you five pizzas before you know it. John has written a lot of different things over the years, but this one is my favorite. Shortly. Ah. The wonderful smell of Vito's pizzas. I wish I had more than five. Hey, you reading this? Wanna play a game? Let's see if you can turn the page faster than I can eat these pizzas. Are you ready? On your mark. Get. Set. Go. You lose. Gee, it's going to be a long, hungry walk home. I should have altered John's note and made it say 10. And maybe an eggplant parmesan with parmesan instead of the eggplant. Do not fear me, my present-day feline brother. I am, like you, a cat. But I am a cat of the future. The future? That's amazing. That's incredible. That's mind-boggling. What does it mean? It means I live in the future and you live in the past. I do not live in the past. I live in the now. Oh, wait. That now. I just said I live in. That's now the past. But now I'm in the now. Hold it. That now is now the past and I'm in a new now. No, that's over. I am here after the most important thing in the universe. You're too late. I just ate the pizzas. I mean, knowledge. I can show you the most important thing you need to know about our world. That is, if you can go back in time 25 minutes and take me with you. That can be done. Let me turn on the rewinder. What is it 25 minutes ago that I must learn? You'll see. Hey, great CGI effects. 25 minutes ago. We are where you were 25 minutes ago. Terrific. And I still have the note that I gave Vito. I'll give it to him again. But first, I'll make one tiny change. Soon. Ah, a note from Signore Arbucle. Please make 10 pizzas and charge them to my account. Very well, my little pussigato. Vito will make you 10 pizzas before you know it. Isn't science wonderful? Shortly. Thanks, O oh cat of the future. You just did me a huge favor. I am glad to be of service, but what is this most important thing I was supposed to learn of this world? And what is in those flat, white containers? These tin boxes contain tin pizzas. Don't tell me they don't have pizza in the future. Because if that's the case, I don't want to get to be that old. Pizza? I believe I heard the term in my historical lessons, some variety of food? Yes, it's food. Of course, it's food. It's so much more than food. It's like a symphony. A joy. Heaven with pepperoni on it. 
What kind of food do you future guys eat? Food became obsolete in the 23rd century. We subsist on protein infusions and nutrient supplementation. Protein infusions? Nutrient supplementation? That's what you eat. That keeps our bodies fit and healthy and satisfies all biological needs. Although every so often, my wife does make me a yummy bacon cheeseburger. May I sample the pizza? I guess I owe you a taste. But I don't want these to get cold so please hurry. We of the future have learned to ingest in the blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye. You eat all ten of my pizzas. You are correct, cat of the past. They were of great merit. I must sample more pizzas. Well then, we better go back 25 minutes again so I can get more of them. I shall transport us back. I consider it my duty as a researcher to fully sample the unknown relic of this era known as the pizza. And this time, could we get some with pineapple and Canadian bacon? Oh sure. 25 minutes ago. Ah, a note from Signore Arbucle. Please make 20 pizzas and charge them to my account. Very well, my little pussy gato. Vito will make you 20 pizzas before you know it. I am. PS5 with pineapple and Canadian bacon. Coming right up, my little friend. Shortly. Don't worry. I've never dropped a pizza or any form of Italian food in my life. I was just reading this menu from the pizzeria. That is much pizza. For me to properly sample it may require two blinks of an eye. In two blinks of an eye. You eat all 20 pizzas. Who do you think you are? Me? Excellent. I would like the next batch with sausage, black olives, and mushrooms. This has been very educational. I believe I have learned something that would be of great value to the inhabitants of my era. Really? What's it like in the future? In the future, we pride ourselves on absolute efficiency. Everyone works and everything works. We tolerate no failure, no laziness, no failure to achieve. Everyone is physically perfect with no ill health, no sickness, and without an ounce of excess poundage. This enables us all to maintain maximum efficiency. That is why everything in the future is better than it is today. Except we do not have pizza. That is why I will rearrange time so there is no pizza today and it exists only in the future. Oh, well that should make everyone there very happy and... What? You're going to take all our pizza away? Why? It is too good for the creatures of this era. It belongs in a better time. No! You can't take our pizza away. Take our water. Take our oxygen. We don't value either that highly anyway. Just don't take our pizza. How will I get by without pizza? I'll have to make do with lasagna, spaghetti, ravioli. 
Perhaps I shall take away all the items this establishment offers. Lasagna, spaghetti, ravioli. I shall begin rearranging time to move all present-day Italian food into the 30th century. No, no. I can't wait 30 minutes now for pizza delivery. I'm supposed to wait nine centuries. Wait a minute. I know how to stop him. Okay, take all our Italian food. But you know what you'll all become like? No. What? Me? Like you? Yes, me. You'll all spend half your day eating and half your day sleeping, and you'll put on enough pounds that you won't be able to fit in your rocket cars or whatever you use to get around then. In fact, I see that you've already put on a little weight. Eating 30 pizzas, or as I call them, a medium-sized snack, will do that to you. You, you are right. I am no longer the picture of perfect health and bodily efficiency. Come on! Take me back in time and let's get 50 pizzas. Oh. And you have to try the cannelloni. No. I must save myself from this and save my future. I shall return to my time. And I shall return you to the point where you acquired those five pizzas you had when I encountered you. Since you will have never lived through it, you will have no memory of any of this. Well, at least I hope I remember enough to get ten pizzas. And so, it started again one day at Vito's Pizzeria. Ah, a note from Signore Arbucle. Please make five pizzas and charge them to my account. Very well, my little pussigato. Vito will make you five pizzas before you know it. John has written a lot of different things over the years, but this one is my favorite. Shortly. Ah. Oh. The wonderful smell of Vito's pizzas. I wish I had more than five. I should have altered John's note and made it say ten. Oh, well. Too bad I can't go back in time and change that. The end.